You know, Pastor Krause, this is the first time I've ever gotten to light the Christ candle. Well, how about that? It's always kind of fun to watch what happens as it just goes up and up and up. Wow, that goes up pretty high. Way up high. Yeah, higher than I can reach it. <laughs> and that's high. That is high. Yeah. <laughs> what does that remind you of? I don't know. There's something that it does remind. It reminds me of something. I'll, that's for sure. The way it ascends up towards the ceiling. It's almost like there's a there's a Bible story that that reminds me of this. Hmm. Like when Lazarus rose from the dead. <sighs> Not quite. There's something else. I mean, he did rise. That's right. But yeah. but this is a, this is ascending. This is ascending. There's something else going up above the earth. It's got to be about Jesus ascending to heaven, huh? That's it, the ascension. That's right, because that's what it means. To ascend means to go up. Okay. Why is that such an important holiday, do you think? That's a really good question. I wonder if the children know why it's a really good holiday. Do you guys know? You're not answering. <laughs> yeah. Because if I remember correctly, if we were to open up our Bibles to to Luke 24 or Acts 1, we know that the disciples gathered around Jesus and he actually ascended up into heaven. He said, I'm going to send you on a, a mission and you're going to spread the good news, but you need to wait here and I'm going to give you the Holy Spirit. And then right after that, he literally ascended with oh, a cloud. I, I wonder sometimes what that must have looked like to the disciples. I bet you it was know, pretty amazing. So there, Jesus is talking with them. And uh, all of a sudden, as they're watching, he's getting, well, they think he's getting a little taller. Because they haven't noticed yet that his feet aren't touching the ground. But he gets taller and taller. Really, he's just going up and up and up and up, isn't he? Yeah. He's going way, way up. And they look way up in the sky. And Jesus goes up where the clouds are. Can you imagine what that would look like to see Jesus go up like that? Up and up and up, way up high in the clouds. And then, all of a sudden, they can't see him, so they keep watching. I wonder how long they watch, wondering maybe he's going to pop up out of, the, out of the clouds or something, you know? And then you know what happened, right? Yep, the two angels, they asked him, why do you keep looking up into heaven? What are you guys looking at? <laughs> yeah, don't. Don't look there because he's going to come back the same way he ascended. Because we know that Jesus is going to come back and be with us. Uh -huh. yeah. But why did, he, why did he have to go away, do you think? Well, it's a real interesting thing. It's hard to understand. Um, the Bible's not all that clear about it, really. But Jesus said, uh, if I don't go away, the Holy Spirit won't come. And there's a couple of ways that you can take that. Uh, first of all, of course, when Jesus says, I go away, he's talking about dying for us. And leaving us that way. But I think he's also talking about ascending into heaven. And uh, he says, until he fulfills all things, spirit won't come. You yeah. know. But it's as he ascends to heaven that he fulfills all things. He's, he goes up to all glory and honor. And uh, then the spirit can come forth to, to uh, equip the apostles to bring God's word to people. You know, it's interesting, Pastor Alex. That it seems like the disciples didn't do a whole lot as long as Jesus was here. They had a lot of learning to do, didn't they? That's true. They didn't do quite as much as we see them do in the book of Acts after Jesus ascends. But boy, are they busy when he leaves. And uh, Jesus is present with them through his Holy Spirit. He's not gone. They just can't see him anymore. And uh, now he, he's present with them by his Holy Spirit. And uh, he's... He's able to uh, be with them wherever they go and empower them to do what, what they need to do, and he does his wonderful work. Wait, hold on. So let me get this straight. So even though we don't get to see Jesus with our eyes the way that the disciples did during his ministry, he's still here with us? Yeah. You know, sometimes we say, boy, I wish I could have been there when Jesus was there. But Jesus says it's better for us that the Holy Spirit comes and that he goes away. That uh, he strengthens us by his spirit to do the things he calls us to. He is with us. You're exactly right. By his spirit. And he always will be. I'll never leave you nor forsake you, says Jesus. Even though we can't see him, he surely is with us. You know, that makes me think of another question. Sometimes we say, based on passages in the Bible, and we even recite it in our creeds, 
that we say in church. We say that Jesus is ascended to the right hand of the Father, that he's seated at the right hand of the Father up in heaven. Now, that means he's, he's stuck up in heaven, right? I mean... <laughs> he's at the right of God. Well, how do you be at the right of God who is omnipresent, that is present everywhere, fills the heavens and the earth? Well, it says that he's at his right. Literally, he has right, not necessarily right hand, but that's the way most translations see it. When he's at his right, means uh, he's got uh, all authority. Which he's, he's, he's raised up to sit on the throne uh, with God the Father in heaven. He has all authority and power. Everything is put underneath him. All rulers and authorities and powers, all things are put underneath him. All the angels are underneath his feet, and he reigns forever. We will reign with him one day. So the ascension by Jesus going up and, and being at the right hand of the Father, that means he's present with us with all of his power and authority. That doesn't mean he's far away. He's, he's present with us. He's right with us. And as, uh, as he calls himself the first fruits, he's the one who leads the way for where we will go to reign with him. But he's with us now already, but we will be with him forever uh, as, the, as the age goes on. Yeah. I, I think I remember reading that in the book of Hebrews, where, where he, the author of the book of Hebrews tells us that Jesus is our high priest, and by ascending to the Father, it's like when the high priest goes into the, 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 the holy place, like when we go into the, the altar area, and Jesus brings us with him to the Father, so that his prayers are always answered and our prayers are always answered because Jesus is at that right hand as our high priest. And so we can always have confidence because Jesus has ascended to the Father. He leads, up, he leads us everywhere he goes, doesn't he? Wow. So this is actually a really important holiday for us as Christians. Yeah, we, uh, we often overlook it, but you can look forward, children, to this coming Sunday when we will be celebrating the Ascension, and Pastor Alex is going to preach on that very topic. We're looking forward to it. Yeah. Wonderful. I, I can't wait to, to think more about Ascension and how important it is that we know that Jesus is ascended to the right hand of the Father. I think sometimes we ought to get into a hot air balloon so we get a feel of what the Ascension is right. like. The only trouble is, in that case, what goes up must come down. When Jesus ascends, he goes up for good. Oh, he's coming down again at the end to bring us to everlasting life. Thanks, Pastor Alex. Thank you.